Chris, <laughs> how did you find? Uh, how did you find and how did you meet your co-founder? Oh, uh, so we used to work together previously uh, at an app bureau. So we developed apps for a lot of large enterprises in Norway. And we just really clicked then and understood that we were about doing the same thing, uh, which is solving specific problems using technology. And you didn't study together or knew each other from school or? No, no, no. So he's uh, one generation older than I am. Oh, really? Yeah, How many yeah. years is the age difference? Uh, 18 years. Wow. Yeah, so he's the same age as my mom, <laughs> which is kind of funny. <laughs> she had you young. <laughs> she did, yes. Yeah, uh, awesome. You know, now you're how many people? You know, a team of 16 people. And it's kind of a 50 50 split from technology and commercial. Uh, yeah, we've been growing quite steadily since I think we were five people one year back. Uh, so it's been quite quick growth. And you, you, know, you both were sort of internal innovators in a corporate, right? How has it been an mm. entrepreneur and how have you, you know, tried to build a team around um, a, your startup? Yeah, that's a good question. And it's kind of also difficult to try and uh, <laughs> Uh, convince other people who are, have this good position of uh, being in a large enterprise or something to join your crazy idea of a startup. You, interestingly, have a unique model to get people to buy into your company. Tell me about that. Yeah, so, so in Norway it's quite difficult to, to establish like option schemes like you maybe do in the US or something um, because of the tax regulations. Do you have to, to, uh, to pay tax once you buy those shares because there's a difference in what we agreed on you buying them into or the price that we agreed on uh, versus the actual market price of that Because you give me a discount on what they're worth, right? That's what it seems so like. I would yeah, be immediately exactly. taxed on the difference between say I yeah, bought them for 100 knock, just yeah. making it an easy example, and they're worth 200, I would be taxed on that 100 knock difference right exactly when you buy the shares not when you sell them and that's mm. kind of the key thing right so so there are ways to prevent that and to work around it but uh, what we saw that we had to try and introduce a new program where the employees actually buy shares up front for the market price uh, which sounds crazy because they don't have to actually buy shares when you join a startup like you have to pay <laughs> to pay to get hired kind of. <laughs> so it's kind of silly. Uh, but it works great and it's, it's a good also like um, a test for seeing if you're actually committed and if you're willing to put uh, some skin in the game. Uh, so now all our employees, all the 16, have uh, their own shares in the company. And they bought Every single one of them? them. Yeah. They, they, they wanted a job with you and they paid to be part of the company. Exactly. So now they own shares and now they, yeah. They, 16 people, um, what kind of backgrounds? What's your typical hire? I don't think we have a typical hire actually. It's, it's quite diverse. Well, some people okay. are really into techno, other people are into like traveling and exploring the world. And, uh, and some people are just purely into tech and understanding that and it's really uh, complete diversity in, in terms of the backgrounds of the, yeah. of the team. Cool. Um, but what we're looking for is, is that creativity, mm. that you're wanting to do something that has a high impact uh, and you have a lot of ideas, you feel less passion but you're kind of maybe constrained where you are at today. If I was, uh, was I had a check here right now and I could write a million dollars on it, you know, mm. what would you say and sum up as what I would be investing in? Why would I invest? Right, so what I usually try to, I, I try to uh, flip that a bit around and ask, uh, okay, the, the capital is interesting, but is there some other match? Like is there an industrial match or a strategic thing that we can also work on? That's awesome. a different conversation though. You focus much more about, okay, how can we actually, how can this partnership, uh, how can we both benefit from that? But that's a, it's a partnership, not just an investment. It's not a one-way thing. It's not like, exactly. I have money, you have an opportunity. Here's my money, give me an opportunity. Right, and it's, a lot of investments is like that, I would mm. say. So, and just, it's just your money and you're a passive owner. And, and that's fine, but for our case, it's, it's just not relevant. We need to have some kind of strategic partnership before it really makes sense. And that's also much more valuable. Mm.